my beloveds. It is me, Fallen Angel. How's everyone doing today? If you can tell, I have a new setup. <laughs> which is a lot better. So I am actually sitting up and I'm not leaning back. So I have a new desk and everything else, which is pretty good. Thank God. But... Yeah. Hopefully everyone is doing good while we are in quarantine still. If y'all are still in quarantine, I hope y'all are okay. You know, but enough of that. Let's just get started. We are on the last three episodes of Anders Aaron's Half Hopes. Let's see. Amber, I was hoping I could pick you up at the airport when you get home. It's David. He wants to pick me up after the flight. You're quite the popular lady in Snugford, aren't you? Sounds good. Thanks, David. I have a surprise for you. He says he has a surprise for me. Oh, I see where this is going deja vu all over again. He's going to confess his love to you, I bet, Amber the Heartbreaker. Sounds like a band name or something. you're hearing my phone go off it is my fiance is because we had a bad storm last night and his phone is out and yeah we're concerned my little boy in here he's over at his daddy's we're all worried because our dog's house blew over last night and it was freaking scary Oh, 
it might just be the house itself. I put new batteries in and everything. Told you so. Good luck, little heartbreaker. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> oh. Thanks, David. They're beautiful. Just like you. David. No, I'm sorry. But I have something I need to say. I don't think any of this will surprise you, but I really need to say it. I've known you for years. I've seen every side of you, and I've loved them all. Your creative and cleverness, your compression, 
compassion, your commitment to your dreams, commitment to your dreams. Even when you're angry, I see how I see it how it can make you beautiful and strong. I value our friendship more than anything in my life. So, I never risk telling you, but I've been in love with you for a long time, like a really long time. Oh, David, you've always been there for me, and you're the kindest person that I've ever met. You know how much courage it took. I know how much courage it took for you to tell me this. It's just, I have something I need to settle with someone before I can get involved with anyone. Someone I know? Yes. I understand. Really, I do. And I understand what you need to face first. You're right. I'm, I should have known better. Amber, good luck. Thanks, David. I wouldn't be here without you. It's so freaking sad. They both confessed their love to her and she's... Something's wrong with her. Don't pick up the same item twice in a row. Are you kidding me? I hope you find what you're looking for. <laughs> hey, are you reading those over my shoulder? <laughs> Trying and failing. Now, what was it you wanted to find? It's personal. I'll tell you all about it one day. Oh, I see. Well, good luck, Amber. I'm here if you need me. Hey, don't get all sentimental on me now. Come on, let's get to it. I still don't have money. So I can't pick up the same item twice. I mean, if someone orders the same thing, I can't pick it up twice. I have to pick up something else then, pick up that. Oh my god, my 
drink too much. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're not tempting me like they did last time. Saying, yeah, my little guy is very nice. Oh, his daddy yesterday, so uh, hopefully, y'all had a good Easter. I had a wonderful Easter. I know we're supposed to social distance, but I wasn't gonna let mine go without uh, hunting eggs. sister came over with her little movies and we let the kids dye eggs and hunt them and they had so much fun. You should have seen them. It was wild. <laughs> we had like four children, four kids. Mine was for her part three. Now some. Mm -hmm. But her littlest one, my little niece, uh, she wasn't having it. So she went and took herself a nap. Mm -hmm. She wasn't feeling good. So they let her, she took a nap. While the older kids had an eggs. And my little boy was so sweet when it came to uh, my oldest niece. Every time like he'd get an egg and stuff, he'd say, here you go, you give it. He's here. But they had fun. They played the little hearts out until they could no more. And when I got inside, my little boy was cranky because he was tired. So I let him deal with the bed really early. Basically. Okay, into the No. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing! 
Sorry, I'm a little tired. I love this city. It's so easy to just wander around and find great spots for drinks and snacks. Let's have a night out on the town. No drinks for me, but I'm definitely in anyway. Hey, don't worry, Karen. We took care of all the cleaning. No, no, that's... Don't worry about that. I trust you. Actually, it's... Well... Karen, would you like to join us tonight? Yes, please. Oh. <laughs> Welcome. What can I get you to drink? Cosmo for me. Um, a... Mojito? Mojito, please? Well, I want a mojito too, but I have me a mint iced tea. <laughs> a mint tea for me. Oh my, there's so many drinks. How could I possibly choose just one? Our bartender has some great specials. How about we let her decide? You know what? That sounds great. Surprise me. I'm feeling adventurous. Coming up. Oh, I love this song. Come on, let's dance. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I love these two. We've got a great crew. It kind of feels like a family now. So... Is your family excited about the engagement? My family is a little complicated. I'd say excited is the wrong word. I know I may seem a little uptight, but my mother and my sister are about a thousand times worse. I haven't even told them yet. I mean, they're going to freak out. Wow, that sounds intimidating I don't blame you at all my sister will think it's all about the right cake the perfect dress but for me it's just about Kyle I have gotten married right I'd have gotten married right there on the island if we had someone there to marry us maybe you just need to talk to your family about all this I mean it is your day Family matters are always complicated. Too much history. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. But you're right, Amber. I, I should say something. I guess when it comes to the past, we can either deal with it or let it go. Those are the only options. Deal with it or let it go. <laughs> They're so cute. I love them. They're so cute together. Oh my god, guys, we're on our last episode. <laughs> Don't remember any items from the train. No, I know, I know it's been difficult. I'm sorry about that. I I was hoping we can meet up. I think I owe you an explanation. Okay. I'll see you then. Deal with it or let it go. Sweet, sweet Amber. <laughs> Got everything with that stupid storm. Now I ain't gotta worry about not picking things up. It won't hurt me. Just go work with me. Mm-hmm. 
too for some reason. sad to announce today. I've finally decided the idea that I might possibly be getting older. And so I've decided to retire. Hang my hat, so to speak. What? No! Hang your hat? Huh? So that leaves us with a question. A question I've been trying to answer for the past few months now. Who has all the value that Snuckford Airline needs in order to maintain our success and become a real leader for this team? And I've reached my considered, I'm happy to announce that Karen will be taking my place. Karen is one of the the sharpest minds I've ever met, and it turns out she's also has a heart and hum humanity required to do more than be a manager. She's a leader, so please join me in congratulating Karen on her new step in her career. Yay! Aww. Thanks everyone, you're like a family to me, I feel so lucky. Of course, we'll be throwing a huge leaving party for Hank this Friday, so make sure you're there. It's quite a crew we've got here. I'm going to miss all of you very, very much. Let's do some party planning. I think we should do a desert island theme. No way. We only just survived that madness last time. What do you think, Amber? Want to help out? Sorry, actually, I've got a date tonight. Are even more men falling in love with you? What's your secret? Who's the lucky boy then? I'll see you all later. Baby girl. Hi, Mom. I 
haven't been back here since. The sound of the rushing water always reminds me, always. I lied to you, Mom. About my flight attendant exam, I actually failed the first time. There was, there was a hand-on session of the test. I had to rescue people from the water. All I could, do, th could think of was, I know. It's just so hard sometimes to remind, to be reminded. I can't even say his name anymore. His memory is always chasing me. I just can't forget him. Neither can I. And we will, and we never will. We can only accept it. I know it's hard, but... It's my fault, Mom. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I'm sorry, Mom. I tried to save him. I tried so hard. I just couldn't. It's not your fault, Amber. It never was. Don't blame yourself. I blamed myself for a long time for not being there when it happened. But guilt won't bring him back. It only make us sick. God, this make me tear up. Change the world and but how? How did you? How have you been handling? Be able to handle all of this? It's been a long journey, but in the end, apparently, was the most important thing. And I'm thankful every day that I didn't lose both of my children that day. I'm thankful that I still have a brave and beautiful girl. I. You're the right. I'm lucky to have you too. And I'm lucky to have the friends that I, that support me every day. Maybe with everyone's help, I'll finally be able to move on. I only need to let go of one last thing. After all, this bracelet has always been hit. It's not mine. I love you, Noah. I always love you. You're strong when you But what about Dad? What's going to happen with him? Maybe now's not the time, sweetie. One thing at a time. Change the world and never leave She passed. <laughs> All of the promises. Oh, made. she got her flight attendant. First, love yourself. That's a good quote. We made it towards the end, even though the freaking end started making me cry. I'm sad. It kind of reminded me of somebody. Easter's got a hard time for me because not long after Easter, I lost somebody important to me a long time ago. It's been a while, but it still hit home to me and everything. It's kind of brought back some memories to myself of mine. <laughs> there you go. We finished it. We got through it. Even though I couldn't get through freaking reading the last part. I wanted to really cry so freaking bad. <laughs> but I didn't want to towards y'all. 
But that was sad. I think the music even kind of, yeah, that got me too. It brought back my memories of somebody that I lost a long time ago through e after Easter. So this time right here is a really rough day, going to be a rough couple of days for me. So just bear with me because it's always been, it's always a rough day. But I promise y'all, if y'all stay towards the end, I'd show y'all something. But y'all might not be able to see it clearly, but it's right there. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. But we might be having a baby. How oh, that's a good thing. We might be having us a another uh, having us a baby. But keep praying and stuff and give me your hopes and prayers and everything and I'll keep y'all updated through the videos and through everything. So but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Tell me about your Easter. And if you've lost someone close to you, share your story with me. I'd like to hear it. Because I might share my story with y'all of someone I lost, who I lost. But before this gets all mushy and emotional and I start crying, I'm going to let y'all go. So for now, I'll see you in the next video. Much love, my angels. Bye, guys.